Welcome back to the channel. I have a 2024 GMC AT4X on my left and AT4 on my right. I've never had a chance to put these trucks up side by side and in today's video I want to show you the differences and you might see some new things on these trucks for 2024. Special shout out to Jerry Siner here in South Jordan, Utah. If you are in the market, they do have new Buicks and GMC, so be sure to check out their inventory. These two trucks are available also. Let's go ahead and check out the window sticker so you guys can see what is optional and standard on these builds. Here's the window sticker for the AT4, and here's the specs. They both have the availability to get the 6.2 liter V8, and the AT4X does come with the diesel for this model year. Be sure to look at some of the standard equipment on this truck. Base price is $66,100. And here's a few things that were optioned on this build. You guys can see the tech package here is $15,25 and here's a few things that come in there. And then AT4 premium package gives you a few more things here. And here's the total price with destination at $19.95. This next one is gonna be for the X. So you'll see here that this truck doesn't have as many options because this one comes standard with the diesel now. So they did have to put the 6.2 on there as an option. So rocker protection, which you'll see in the video. And here's a few other things. Destinations right there with a total price of $85,175. And I'm not sure if you guys noticed the fuel economy numbers, but it does change a little bit with the AT4X. So just keep that in mind. So we look at the base price of these trucks. The AT4X cost $13,100 more and you might be wondering what the heck did this truck have to be that much more money well we're gonna go over that in this video because it does have some significant things that I mean I don't know I don't think it's necessarily worth 13,000 more but I kind of think it makes sense but something you probably notice on the window sticker was this AT4 does have a two inch lift. So yes, this truck does sit higher than the regular Sierras. And when you get the AT4, they do give you like this Vader Chrome up front on the grill. Forward facing camera, you have that AT4 badge on the side there and red tow hooks. These are actually functional like pass-throughs too, you can kind of see right there. Small fog lights, which give it a nice appearance up front. And this one does have what looks to be, is that a plastic? Yeah, that's plastic skid plate right there. And since we're down here, you can kind of see those Rancho shocks, which we'll go over here in a second. But if you were to summarize the AT4, this is a really sporty off-road pickup. You still get the lift, you still get more of that ground clearance that you want. But when you really look at the X, like this thing is just beefy. That front bumper really does make this truck, guys. It comes standard on the AT4X as well, so you don't have to get the AEV package. Now, if you would like the rear bumper and the extra skid plates and the wheels and the embroiderment on the interior, then yeah, you're gonna have to spend that extra money, but you can get the bumper standard. And the fog lights are slightly different. Parking sensors on both sides. You have more meaty uh, recovery hooks here and you have a more robust skid plate down below. I mean, this thing is massive too, guys. Kind of can see the suspension. But what you really get with this bumper is that ground clearance. Like, look at how much ground clearance you have on both sides. And even with the overall design, you can see that the grill design is just a little bit more buff. It has like this bronze color. I'm not sure why GM likes that color. Like, they love to go with some very odd colors on their higher trim levels like even on the high countries in the past they went with like a kind of like a similar color like this but yeah same situation with the headlights full led let's go ahead and talk about the tires and suspension believe it or not these are the same tires however they do have a different size and a slightly different design you can kind of see that on the tread pattern so this is the at4 and then this is the AT4X. This is a more robust tire. So it's gonna have probably a stiffer sidewall. And this tire is a two 
7570 18 versus a 27565 18. So in other words, if you're looking at the AT4, that is a 32.1 inch tall tire compared to a 33.2 inch tall tire. So both these trucks do have a two inch lift, but you can pretty much tell that the AT4X sits higher because of these taller tires. Now, when it comes down to the width, they're both 10.8 inches wide, so there's no difference in the size. It's just a little bit taller for the AT4X. And even for the capacity, it's not much difference, but 2,535 pounds per tire here. And this one is gonna be 2,680 pounds, 50 PSI on both sides, LT tires, low range C. As far as the suspension goes, I said it earlier, you have the Rancho shocks. You can see that they do restyle the control arms to give you that extra ride height. Um, so you don't really affect your, your CV axle here. It's the same thing on this side too, except you do have the Motimatic DSSV, which is gonna really be helpful for like more suspension travel, especially at higher speeds. And they do have that coilover setup, but that's why you're gonna pay more money for the AT4X. You're gonna have this more robust suspension and tire. Also, you have the bumper up front, which I mentioned does not even come available with the AT4. Why not? I'm gonna tell on you. <laughs> and then um, something else that you probably won't notice is that the fender flares are slightly different too. But one thing I like about GM is they do allow you to have these rock guards for both sides. So you don't have to get the at to get those. You can get them on the AT4 as well. And I thought that the power deployable running boards were available, but they're not for the AT4X. Smart key systems up front, not on the rear doors. No chrome around the windows. And the, really the only chrome that you see is on the badging on the trucks. This one does have like a machine style wheel versus that more like gunmetal blackout for that AT4X. Out back, this is something that doesn't really pop out at you. On the X, they do give you five leaves in the main pack. Now these leaves are very similar to what you see on the HDs, but they're not as robust. More Multimatic out back, so you have five leaves there, right? On this side, they only give you three leaves, so it's a slightly different setup out back. You're gonna have those Rancho shocks there. As far as the fender flares go, I didn't really point it out up front, but you can really see that they do give you a slight different design for the X. Tail lights are gonna be about the same. Yep, they're the same. You have the black bumper on the X versus the monochromatic one on the AT4. Let's go ahead and pop the tailgate. The X does come standard with the kicker sound system. However, you can still get that with the AT4, but you just have to pay extra. So that's why, again, there is a noticeable advantage in pricing on this side because there's a lot of things that do not come standard or even available for this truck. You still have your bed lighting and 400 watts of power on both sides of the house. They do stem AT4 in the front of the bed here and they're gonna do pretty much the exact same for this one except they just put the X there. I love that they do that. Let's go ahead and put the tailgates back up because I'm gonna show you a couple more things. Let's see if you guys can see it a little bit closer right here. So you see the bumpers are slightly different. So they do build in the exhaust tips for the AT4, but they do not allow for that on this side of the house. Also, full size spare tire with wheel compared to just a donut style. So if you do plan on going off road, that AT4X gives you that extra tire to keep you going on that trail. Something else that doesn't really pop out at you is the skid plates that the AT4 gives you versus the X. So that looks to be the transfer case right there. You can see that it does protect it, but on this side, the skid plate actually bolts into that cross member here. So it's really giving you that protection that you need to keep those components safe. Now, as far as the interiors go, this is where it all comes down 
to the price, I think, personally. Even though the AT4 does have a really nice premium interior, it just doesn't compete with that X. I'm gonna be honest with you guys. I love the AT4 interior. I love this Kalahari with the stitching and piping there. And 10-way driver's seat. You still get a power steering column, automatic four-wheel drive. So there's like a lot of nice features in this truck. But the X just takes the cake. It's so nice. Like there's more leather upholstery on this door card. Like all down in here, this is all wrapped in leather. And you have red, white stitching and piping is white right there. 12 speaker Bose versus nine speaker. And I just think that the materials are just more upscale. The seats, I believe these are real leather seats. This is the Obsidian Rush interior. And this is a 16 way seat. You have bolstering that can tighten up and shoulder support also. Massagers too. You cannot get that on that AT4. They do do more leather wrapping around the interior, suede roof, especially on the A and B pillars. So it just looks a lot more luxurious. And that may not sound like right on a off-road truck, but hey, this is how GMC off-roads. They want you to have that luxury appointment to it as well. Now, something that's cool about getting the AT4X is right here, you do have a front and rear locker or you could just lock that rear axle. Downhill assist is right there. Two-speed transfer case, so you're gonna still have that automatic four-wheel drive right there. And it's just a really upscale interior. Like you have heads-up display standard. These screens are gonna be standard on both sides of the house. And because these trucks were optioned with the 6.2, for 2024, they do add a dual stage exhaust with the 6.2. So when you rev it, it's not a huge difference, right? But when you put it in sport mode, it gets just a little bit louder. And it does actually sound really beefy too. So yeah, when you think about the pricing, the AT4X does make sense in terms of how they price this. But here are the two biggest advantages that the AT4 has over the X. Number one, if you would like the standard bed that is available for the AT4. So this is the short box. And if you would like that longer box, that is gonna give you obviously a bigger bed, but it's gonna give you a longer wheelbase, which is a lot better for towing. So if you want that AT4X, it's not available with the longer box. And I do feel as though having a longer bed truck does ride slightly better too. The last thing obviously, and most people who follow me know what I'm gonna say is towing capacity. So when you get an AT4X, that extra bumper and skid plates, all that stuff is gonna add weight to the truck, right? So it's gonna lower your payload. So this truck does have a gross fuel weight rating of 7,100 pounds. And here are the axle ratings, by the way, too, if you'd like to see those. This truck has a 1,461 pound payload capacity. Let's go ahead and check out what it is on the X. Gross vehicle weight rating does not change, but you guys can see that that front gross axle weight rating did go up by 150 pounds for the X. And that's probably because of the heavier bumper and skid plates up there. But you see right there, you take a hit on that payload because this truck is heavier. And it's probably because of the skid plates, the bumper, probably more robust tire. Those tires probably weigh a little bit more in terms of their capacity and things like that. But yeah, you're not gonna be able to tow as much trailer. So this has 300 pounds less of conventional towing, but you're way more limited because of the weight of this truck, because you will exceed the gross fuel weight rating if you obviously tow a trailer that this truck is more capable of towing, if that makes sense. But apart from that, guys, you can't go wrong with either one of these trucks. They're both really nice, but if you're gonna be towing, you know, uh, 8,000, 7,000 pound trailer, I would venture to say you're gonna want less trim level than both of these trucks, but yeah, this is more of a purpose-built truck to go off-road. And it is becoming one of my favorite off-road pickups. I love the AEB bumpers, and I think they just look so hardcore. And they do it a little different from everyone else. They give you this hardcore off-road pickup 
with a luxurious interior and there's really not much else out there that does the same thing so this is kind of in a class of its own but i hope you guys like the video special shout out again to jerry signer if you would like to purchase these trucks be sure to check out the inventory let them know you saw the video see you guys soon since you stayed to the end i figured i'd tell you you do not have a button to lock the rear axle for the at4 because it is an automatic locker out back but there's no front locker for this truck but you do have downhill assist